All right, good evening, and welcome tonight to tonight's uh, City of Boardman meet and greet for our city manager. And we have two candidates. We have Brandon Hammond, and we have Lawrence Lee Shepard. They are two candidates for the City of Boardman. And again, I'd like to welcome everybody who's here. Brandon is currently the principal at Phoenix Talent School District in Medford, Oregon. He has 11 years of professional administration experience, served on the Boardman City Chamber of Commerce, served two terms on the Boardman City Council. Past experience includes superintendent, principal, vice principal, ESOL coordinator, school assessment director, and Title I coordinator. Mr. Hammond has a Bachelor of Science in Education, Master of Science in Education, Professional Oregon Administrator License, an Oregon Professional Teaching License, an Oregon Reading Intervention Endorsement, and an Oregon ESOL Endorsement. That is our first candidate, Brandon Hammond. Our second candidate is Lawrence Lee Shepard. He goes by Lee. Currently is the Chief Executive Officer at Building North Central Washington in Wenatchee, Washington. Has 25 years of service in military. Past experiences include Chief Executive Officer, Chief Operating Officer, Grant Manager, Deputy Director, Chief of Military Science, Deputy Brigade Commander, and various executive roles in the United States military. Mr. Shepard has a Master's of Military Arts and Science degree, Servant Leadership certi Certification, Master Teacher Certification, and a Bachelor of Arts Political Science degree. That would be Lawrence Lee Shepard. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give the microphone to each candidate, and they can share a little bit about themselves uh, as an introduction, and basically the mic is yours. Um, thanks everybody for coming, Brandon Hammond. Um, just to do a real quick in introduction, uh, my wife and I have been married for 20 years. I have five children. Um, my oldest is out of the house. My second oldest just graduated, and then I have three boys at home. Um, there was, uh, I was trying to think of exactly how to present this. I'm not a huge public speaker. I am more of a one-on-one, -on -one, let's have a conversation. I'm, I'm fine in that realm. Um, but I wanted to share this about, about within city management, within leadership. Um, many years ago, I went to Utah State University, go Aggies. And um, during my time there, I was a assistant baker. And I did that for six, seven years. Um, so I cannot bake at all outside of a commercial bakery, um, but inside a bakery, I, I am pretty adept. Anyway, during that time, I could not think of a more diverse group of individuals. Um, I had, my boss was a master baker of 30 plus years. Um, his son worked with us. He had another head baker that was the absolute opposite of my boss. And then we had just a, a collection of employees. And yet, it was some of the best experiences of my life. Um, and, I, and I think about what made that so amazing. And it was just all these different personalities and, and characters all coming together for one common good. And that was to be the best bakery. I mean, it honestly was. It was well, well known in the area and in northern uh, Utah. And it started with my boss, um, an, an amazing man, an amazing leader who, who went above and beyond. It wasn't just about me as an employee, but it was about me as Brandon. Um, he knew my struggles. He knew what my aspirations were. Um, and I think about that as within any leadership, that is my goal. Like just to have the best whatever we're doing, whatever that's in the school, whether it's a district, whether it's a city, is working together collectively, all these different personalities trying to come together to make that greater good. And I think that is me. Thank you. Hello. Hello. See if I can put this on here without turning it off. So just a little bit about myself and uh, this role and 
and why I have decided to leave a very prosperous, good job in Wenatchee. I ask myself the same question uh, multiple times. It, it comes down to tell you, since we're telling stories, last, last August I was at the U.S. Open. Fun fact, I played, I sort of played tennis at Central Washington University. If you've seen the movie Rudy, I'm Rudy, except I didn't get a play in the last 30 seconds of a game. Uh, I, I was at the U.S. Open with my girlfriend in, in New York. We were, we were watching and having a great time, and I was exhausted. I was tired, and Becky said, what, what's wrong? You know, we've been looking forward to doing this for about, about two years because of the pandemic, and I, we were out and having a good time in New York and, and watching great tennis matches, quite honestly. And I said, you know, that my current role doesn't fill my cup. And what I mean by that is, I spent 25 years as, as an Army officer, uh, culminating last operational job, I was responsible for two districts in Afghanistan, 1,200 service members, probably three times that of Afghan forces and three-lettered agencies. Very complex, very rewarding professionally. Uh, my last actual role in the Army was I'm an assistant professor at the United States Military Academy. And that's what I went there for, was to rewrite some of their leadership doctrine and teach classes. And I ended up running a department there because an opportunity opened up. I also went there for my three sons. It's a great place to raise kids. And if you don't know anything about Army culture, you move every two to three years. So I always say I raise gypsies. They don't care where they are. They care where the family is. That's where home is. It doesn't matter with the building. Uh, but fast forward the last eight years, I've been in executive roles for different nonprofits, and some have been very rewarding. My current role is very important. The businesses of a small community drive the economic force, and it, it pays the salaries, and it, it is part of the families in a community, and we are a part of that. But what I currently do is it's very similar to a, a chamber of commerce, critical to a community, but it's not filling my cup in terms of the complexity. And so that's why I started looking for more complex jobs that would be more rewarding. And city manager, county administrator, and roles like this one really uh, touched my heart in a, in, a, in a certain way too, where you could be part of a community. Uh, a little bit before the New York trip, funny enough, Becky and I had stayed at down by the river, uh, uh, by the lodge, we stayed at some of the cabins, and my Dalmatian actually got caught in the barbed wire along the river, so I helped clean your river, your river area too. Uh, but it was funny, because that was the same summer, the epiphany moment of, hey, I love my job, in terms of it's a good job, and I'm a fool to leave it, but I gotta find something that I like more. And so in a small way, uh, the first time I started thinking about it was a trip down here where we just wanted to get away because the, the pandemic kind of opened up and we could uh, do some more travel, if you will. So what you, what you get if this is a good fit for the city, the city council, the mayor, and et cetera, and I already get this position, you're, you're gonna get someone who has 30 years of not only leadership experiences with very complex, uh, departments and problems and obstacles. Someone who also at an academic level who studied leadership, funny enough. So if, it's kind of funny sometimes when you don't find the right leadership solution, your friends look at you like, you've been doing this and you said you taught this and you can't figure it out. But in all seriousness, that's just a little bit about me and something that you won't read on the, the bios. So thank you. Thank you. So as you can see, we got two candidates that bring two different things to our community. And this is really important. We had interviews today, and we have this meet and greet, and you have this comment card. We really want to know what you think. So no holds barred, go after them. Ask them what you want. Many of you were talking to them uh, to be able to find out what is gonna be the best fit. This is truly important to me and to the council and to our community. We have two candidates that are 
tremendous. They bring a lot of diversity and a lot of different, they have their own qualities and strengths. And I really, in Facebook land, if you can come down here, do come down, we're here till seven. I know I said 7.30 before, but we're here till seven. Come down here, meet them, fill out a common card, let the city know what your views and thoughts are about these candidates. So I'm gonna end that and thank you and continue and don't forget to eat them cookies because then we don't have to send them to the city hall to their secretaries. <laughs> thank you.